QLC plus creating a queue list. All right, so we're back on our functions tab here. We're looking at our scenes and I'm on the uh, root of the uh, tree here. So you won't get any display until you actually click on a scene. So when I click up here, I've got no lighting on the stage. As soon as I click on my scene button up here, now I will have lighting on the stage. And unless, of course, I click on the eyeball and turn that lighting off. All right, so how do we create a queue list? Well, there's um, some steps to this first. First, we've got to create what we call a chaser, and they call it a chaser, but it's going to be a timed chaser thing, which is basically a queue list. Because remember, this program is designed not only for theatrical people, it's designed for people to do DJing, it's designed for people who do like rock band shows and that kind of thing. So anyway, we're going to go up here to the chaser button and click on a new chaser. And we're going to call this, it comes up and we're going to name it main queue list. Main queue list. And there it is. All right. Now, populating this is very, very, very easy. So we're just going to uh, start out and add our scenes that we want for our main queue list here. Um, probably what I should have done, though, too, is included some kind of a blackout queue in here. So let me go back to my functions really, really quickly. We'll la leave this main queue list for a moment. Let's go back to functions for a minute and create a new scene and I'm going to call this blackout. Excuse my typing. Uh, we're going to include all of our lighting in this just so that it understands channels, groups, and I'm just going to do this once to make sure that it understands that these are at zero and I'm not going to give it a timing because we basically want usually blackouts to happen quickly. Okay. So we do have that blackout queue in there. All right, let's go back to our main queue list now. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start out with scene one. So we're in the main queue list over here. Click on plus. We say, you know, show us everything we've got going on here. I'm going to put scene one in. OK. And then scene one progresses right to scene two. So we're going to add scene two in there. Then we go to a blackout. So then we go to blackout and put that in. Then we go back to like a scene one lighting, so I can do that. And uh, another possibility, then we do like a similar scene two lighting. You can do it this way too. We can go scene two. Please make a copy of that. Put down here, say paste. And notice that it pastes right below the queue that you're linked on. So that's a nice feature too, that you can just click copy and drag and go down here. Okay, let's say we need another blackout here. I can click on blackout, say copy of that. Paste blackout. See how quick it is to populate this queue list. Um, now we need to bring in scene three lighting. So we're going to do scene three. Boom, put that in. Uh, then we're going to do another blackout. So I'm going to copy the blackout, paste that down there, blackout. Uh, then I need scenes four and followed by scene five. I think we can, yeah, there we go. We can, uh, I just use shift, copy them both in scene four and five. And we copy blackout again and paste blackout down here. Okay, so we've got all our cues in. Now, if we look down at the bottom here, there are some choices that we can make. First of all, loop. Well, no, we're not going to loop this. It's not going to be like an effect like a DJ thing. So it's going to be single shot as we're going through the run order. We're going to go down the list one time, and that's it. That's going to be the show. The direction, of course, is going forward. Um, now, is the fade in time going to be common? Or is it going to be per step? Or is it going to be default? Default would mean that it would use the fade in time that we assign, but we're going to be, we want to put in a per step fade in time. And same for, per, uh, for fade out. We want per step because we want to put in individual timing for these cues and um, make that happen. Step duration. Uh, we're going to just do, since this is a theater show, uh, we could do it per step, but we're just going to do common. So now we go back here to scene one and we go to our clock. And now we have an extra choice on here, if you notice, with the clock. We have our, first of all, our fade in time, our fade out time, and then our common hold time. All right? What you're going to want to do is do infinite for our common hold time. Okay? And notice that it populated the whole thing since we said. Uh, step duration is going to be common for the entire queue list. So it changed the hold time and duration time 
to infinite, which means we basically have to tell it when to progress to the next queue. Um, now we can go through and uh, we can just add timing to each queue. So let's see, scene one fade in is three seconds and fade out is three seconds. Then I can go to scene two and it fade in is three seconds, but there's gonna be a blackout right after this scene. So we want it to be a quick blackout, so we're gonna leave fade out at zero seconds. So this is where, again, that whole cue timing list then comes in. Blackout's gonna kick in very, very quickly. This next scene one here, uh, notice that even though we use scene one up here, it didn't copy this time down because we're in a cue list, we get to do individual times. This time I want scene one to come in in two seconds, but go out in three seconds. And then we're gonna go to scene two, which is gonna fade in in three seconds. And there's gonna be a blackout right after this, but we want it to be somewhat of a slower blackout. So I'm gonna do like a one second fade out this time. So it's not gonna be a quick blackout. It's gonna be like a kind of a one second fade. So you start to get the idea. You can do all kinds of specialized stuff. Uh, let's do scene three. We do a three second fade in and we're going to do a three second fade out. Then we do, oops, well, we're going to a blackout there. I changed my mind, changed it to zero. It's going to be a quick blackout, okay? Blackout, zero, zero. Scene four, three second fade in. We're going to do a split fade here. I'm going to do a one second fade out. So, and then we go to scene five, it's going to be three second fade in. So in other words, the QB4 is going to go out quickly. And then scene five, though, will take three seconds to fade in. So you get kind of a split fade effect here. And finally, well, before this blackout, we'll do like a slow blackout fade, so a one second blackout. All right, and that's it. You basically have your cue list here. You can go up to the top, if you wish, and actually run this with the lights. So if we say, uh, play and we'll take a look up here. I'm going to bring up my DMX. This shows my DMX values up here. Now, the only bad thing about this is because we have all these lights put in, you're seeing, in other words, all these lights were patched. You're seeing all the lights. It's not just showing us the lights in the queue, it's showing us all the lights up here. But if you watch the front of house, there's our front of house, there's our center stage. Uh, there's our downstage, but you'll see these guys fading in. So, and these, if you have these, are actually going to be coming across on your lights. So, scene one, three seconds to fade in. Now we're going to use these arrows. Go to the next queue. Okay, scene two, scene three, scene four. And actually, I guess it doesn't use timing here. It just jumps from scene to scene. It isn't going to actually use the timing. We won't see the timing. No, it actually is doing the timing. There we go. Scene three, blackout. Scene four, scene five. See how some rolling up there. Okay, but it's a way of checking that your list is good. Now we'll show you how to get this list into later into an actual uh, performance thing, but that's basically how you go ahead and you create your main queue list.